When the Golden State Warriors shipped a top 20 protected pick to the Oklahoma City Thunder in late 2020, it was thought that the Golden State Warriors were going to be ushering in a new era of their style of basketball. Not only did they have the old guys like Draymond Green, Steph Curry, and when Klay Thompson came back, they had him as well, but they were adding in new guys who were kind of still new to the system. They drafted James Wiseman second overall in the NBA draft. They acquired Andrew Wiggins late last year for D'Angelo Russell, and bringing in Kelly Oubre Jr. was supposed to be the final move to bring the Golden State Warriors into this new age of their version of basketball. However, the biggest flaws to Kelly Oubre's game in terms of being able to be a capable shooter have been highly exposed in this Golden State Warriors offense. In this lineup, whether it's Kevon Looney or James Wiseman starting at center, paired with Draymond Green and Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre was kind of looked at to be the secondary shooter with Stephen Curry. And I think going into this, we should have kind of understood why that would have been a terrible idea. And not to mention, he was kind of replacing Klay Thompson in the starting lineup. So not only has it not worked, it's been a complete bust of a trade for the Golden State Warriors. And I understand that 21 games is a little bit quick to rush to judgments for a guy who's 25 years old and within his first three months of being with this Golden State Warriors organization. However, if you're the Warriors, you're coming off a year last year where you were one of the worst teams in the NBA. Every single one of your players was injured for a majority, if not all, of the season. And with that in mind, you're also a team who has won three out of the last six NBA championships. And you're still looking to maximize that window now with guys like Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson sort of getting towards the end of their prime. And when you have guys like James Wiseman and Andrew Wiggins who seem like they can contribute now to winning, and Kelly Oubre is kind of pulling back from that ability to win, you might have to look at trading Kelly Oubre Jr. even though it's this early in the season. The one name that has been circulating in rumors a lot, and the one name that actually, in my opinion, would make this Warriors team almost unstoppable, not only offensively, but would improve their ability on the defensive end as well, is current New Orleans Pelicans point guard Lonzo Ball. Now, it would be a little bit of a meme for the Golden State Warriors after Lonzo Ball's father, LeVar, told everybody that he thought Lonzo was going to be better than Steph Curry, and so far that has definitely not panned out. However, just looking at the actual basketball side of it, what Lonzo Ball would be able to add to the, not only the offense, but the defense as well, would be something that could make this Warriors team get back to a championship level. First things first, it would basically be able to put... Steph Curry in the position where he is possibly the greatest player of all time at that, you know, certain skill set. And that's being able to run off the ball, you know, catch and shoot situations, just being able to be an off ball playmaker for the offense. Steph Curry has never really been, you know, a de facto point guard like guys like Chris Paul or guys like, you know, anyone in the league who has been a, you know, great point guard in NBA history. Steph Curry doesn't necessarily fit that same kind of mold. He can be an elite playmaker, he is an elite playmaker, and he can be a guy who can take anybody off the dribble if he wants. However, when he's just only in that role, he's not really at his best. When he's in the role of being able to come off screens, catch and shoot, or you know, just make plays for everybody just being off of the ball, that's when Steph Curry is at his greatest. And adding somebody like Lonzo Ball who can take a, you know, he'd probably be the secondary playmaking option with Draymond Green, but still, that just adds another option for this Warriors team to, like I said, get back to that championship level. Lonzo Ball, I think, is actually a lot better of a defender than Kelly Oubre Jr. And not only just statistically wise, but just being able to be a consistent threat on the defensive side of the ball. You know, he's able to get in passing lanes. He's able to defend on ball. He's able to defend off ball. And with his ability to get, you know, plays going in transition off of those defensive stops, that just adds a whole nother dimension to this Warriors offense that we have not seen for a little bit. Now, looking at the Pelicans side of this trade, I know that this video is basically about how this trade would affect the Golden State Warriors in a positive manner, but looking at the New Orleans Pelicans, one of the biggest things that they have not really been able to do as a team is be able to have consistent play from their backcourt, and a lot of that is the fact that they paired Lonzo Ball with Eric Bledsoe, two guys who in their career have not been great three-point shooters, who are very good and capable defenders, but are just two guys who... I don't necessarily think you can start in a lineup together and actually consistently think that they can provide elite scoring and elite defense at the same time every single game. And pairing Kelly Oubre Jr. with Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson, it would give them three forwards who, in a starting lineup, are always at a, you know, they always have a very good ability to get to the rim. They're always three, you know, highly competitive players. 
And I think just replacing Lonzo Ball, who, you know, it just hasn't really worked either for him in New Orleans for the Pelicans in terms of winning. Just replacing him with Kelly Oubre Jr., who's a guy who's not really going to take a lot of shots from the outside, but be able to penetrate and get to the rim kind of whenever he wants on the offensive side of the ball. I think that would be a healthy change for the Pelicans as a team, and it would be a healthy change for Kelly Oubre as well. With all of that being said, that's going to be the video for me. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, make sure you leave a dislike. Any feedback from you all at this point is much appreciated. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. If you're one of my returning subscribers, I appreciate you a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.